Hey, it's your boy DJ Wolf. Hey, I got a couple things on my mind here. Um, first item up for bids. Uh, of course, you know today is uh, Super Tuesday, and uh, the elections are underway. The uh, primaries right now, of course, the favorites currently are Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Uh, I think the Republican primary uh, is tonight. Well, no, it is tonight. Uh, several key states are going to be involved with it, including Virginia. And, uh, of course, right now, the way it's looking, Trump may have getting it, but I haven't heard anything from the news as of yet. But well, once I hear about it, of course, tomorrow I will be talking about it. In a big way, as always. Um, still, you know, I had a, a talk with uh, someone a little while ago about it. I still don't understand his what is the thing about Donald Trump that makes everybody want to vote for him. Mainly because Donald Trump, I guess he brings something different to the table. I've yet to see it. I'm not hearing about it, but apparently it's something different. But the person I talked to, they tried to get me to understand that, oh, yeah, it's uh, he's different and he's bringing something to the table. He's not like these other politicians. Uh, on, on contrary, my friend, he's just like those politicians. Matter of fact, he's like those politicians and even some cases worse. But the guy told me, he said, I'd rather have him than Hillary Clinton. I'm like, really? you rather have him than Hillary Clinton? Well, you know, that's kind of up for debate. I, to be honest, I would rather right now take my chances on Bernie Sanders. The only reason I wouldn't vote for Bernie Sanders right now because he's too old. You know, he's a, I think he's like the oldest candidate running right now, currently. Yeah. Bernie Sanders about 100 years old. Yeah. About a hundred years old. I said, "Well, you gotta be freaking kidding me!" And that's the only reason I wouldn't vote for him. To be honest, that's the only reason I wouldn't vote for him because he's too freaking old. But he have a lot of ideas. He bring a lot to the plate. He bring a lot to the table that a lot of these candidates do not bring at all. You know, and I and I, I'm not hearing. Uh, anything new from Trump. Trump is a big bag of bullshit. He's like any other politician. He'll say anything to get a vote. I mean, literally anything to get a vote. Anything to get a vote. He doesn't care. He could care less. You know? He really don't care. And he talks a lot of smack. A lot of smack talk. But he's not backing anything up. And most of the smack talk he's talking about is about the other candidates. He's not talking about jobs. He's not talking about education. He's not talking about homelessness. He's, you know, he's not talking about anything. You know, he's, he's more along a line of a guy who talks about doing stuff that doesn't bring people together to work together. He talks about divide and conquer to me. When he says, uh, take America back, he's not talking about taking something back because he never lost it. He's always had it. This is a guy come from a, you know, a, a line of millionaires. Okay? A line of millionaires. This, this family's been in, in, involved in wealth for about over a hundred years, I'm not a hundred more, but the thing of it is with Trump, how can you take back something you never lost? He has never lost anything. He might have lost millions in the marketing game that he's been, you know, doing all these years in, in the businesses and stuff. But he's never been broke. He's never been homeless. He's never been without a job. He's never been without money. Ever. I've been broke. I haven't been homeless. 
but I've been without a job. Right? And I've been without money. You know? And that's one time since I've raised a family. And one time I was out without money. And it was, I caught hell. So, and I said, I never, never let that happen again. You know, I'm not I, I ain't, I am. I, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm not rich or nothing. I mean, I'm trying to get by just like everybody else. I really am. But this guy talking about, we're going to take back America. It's not about you taking back America. It's about going back to the old ways that was America. That's really what you're referring to. That's the only thing that you are, I know for a fact you're referring to. Taking it back. Taking back the freedoms that uh, black people worked hard for to break the chain from slavery, from oppression in this country for 400 years. That's what you want to take back. You ain't fooling no damn body with that bullshit, Trump. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? Really? You know, you must think everybody and their cousin are boo-boo the fools in this country. Well, maybe you might be right because you got enough of them voting for you. So, <laughs> that's a lot of fools in itself. My thing is that Trump is saying and doing anything to play to a specific audience. And he knows that. This is the reason why he do and says what he, he needs to say to get votes. And like somebody was saying earlier, he's entertaining the audience. He's not somebody who's serious about, about, about campaign. He might be serious, he might be serious about getting in the office. But to be honest, he's not serious about helping the people. He's not. And I went further into discussion. I'm like, most of the politicians aren't anyway. But by the same token, why the hell am I going to vote for Trump uh, uh, over uh, ben, uh, I mean, Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton? I'm not completely sold on Hillary Clinton either. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I would just as soon sort of take my chance with her before I would Donald Trump. Or not vote at all. You know? But I would take my chances a little bit further with Bernie Sanders. Or not at all. Because I'd be damned if I'm going to deal with Trump. I just I just don't think he's a viable candidate. I don't think he's a candidate for the people. As a matter of fact, I know he's not the candidate for the people. You know? He's not really a people person. He tried to pretend like he is. You know? And I was thinking about the video I saw with the two black women he had on there. I'm like, right, go out there and do your thing. And to me, uh, when I interpreted it, it was like, Go ahead, niggas. Go ahead and, 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 and do, the mon do your monkey shine. You know, he sounded racist while trying to be racist when he was like, all right, go ahead and do your thing. You know, I mean, I, I'm hearing, and I can't remember pervade what he said, but it, to me, it sounded very racial to me. And it just, his tone even sounded racial to me. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, you're playing, the, you're playing the race card. No, I'm not playing the race card. I'm playing what it is. Racial. This is DJ Wolf. I got more to say on the back burner. Um, I was debating about doing the show tonight, but I got some things I got to definitely take care of. And uh, more than likely, I'll probably see between now and Friday. I'm hoping to do a Wednesday show because usually everybody else is doing shows on Thursdays, I mean on Fridays <laughs> and Sunday nights. You know, so maybe I'll just start doing my shows on Wednesday. Which I like to do, but I like I said I will let you know. I'll send you guys a reminder and uh, confirm that because I'm, hope, I'm hoping to get what I need to get taken care of before the end of the week, so I can uh, get a show done. Because I haven't done, uh, I haven't done. Matter of fact, I haven't even done the live show. I haven't done the live show in over a month. You know, but I'm glad that that I'm able to do the show that I'm doing now. That goes not only to speaker, speaker, but to YouTube. So. If you can't catch me on Spreaker, you can catch me on YouTube. And actually, I'm still posting videos on there. So, hopefully, I'll do some, some new videos and do some live stuff as well. So, and I actually want to do a live radio broadcast for a podcast as well. And I'm working on that real soon. Um, I'm actually going to do some other stuff as well. So, guys, uh, you know how to reach me. Uh, questions, comments, debates. If you want to debate me about these candidates, please, by all means, give me a holler. At for all to hear at gmail.com. 
for all to hear at Outlook.com and for all to hear at YouTube was just which is for all to hear TV actually and my Twitter page is at for all to hear alright guys I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head on out and uh, I'll talk to you later alright catch me on the back burner later guys